Mango is one of our special needs kittens. We think he was bitten by a dog or a tomcat when he was really little. He and his siblings came to us through a TNR project. He had some old wounds on the side of his face and needed help eating, but immediately everyone fell in love with Mango. Hi, Lifey. Hello, Lifey. Mango went for a checkup at the vet and x-rays confirmed a skull fracture and various complications arising from that. It hurt, but that's not, it doesn't look like new injuries. And the ears are also looking better now. And you see the eye. I cleaned the eyes too. He's shaking the head a bit and he almost sneezes a bit. To see something bothers a bit in the sinuses. But such a friendly baby, he's purring, he knows I'm helping. It's really animals, they're awesome. Although Mango had many challenges in front of him, he settled into his foster home, started playing and exploring, meeting his foster siblings and enjoying life. His spunky character and courage showed up right from the beginning and soon Mango became the poster child for living life to the fullest and with courage even when it deals you some hard knocks. Mango has some motor neuron damage on one side of his face which makes his eye droop and gives him that curious winking appearance. One of the main side effects of Mango's injury was a very serious ear infection which required antibiotics and cortisone and regular cleaning. Life is never dull in a kitten foster home and Mango soon got used to an endless stream of kittens coming through the home and he made friends with all of them, showing his friendly loving nature to each one. Mango, is it for Mikey's gebrun? I didn't give any more kiss mango. Mango was making progress, cuddling and playing and purring. His skull fracture eventually healed, but his ear infection just didn't want to clear up. After an ear swab, new antibiotics and two weekly checkups for the next two months, Mango seemed to be making progress. The antibiotics seemed to be doing a good job of getting rid of the ear infection and we thought Mango was almost ready for adoption. But once again things didn't run smoothly for little Mango. Suddenly one day, his tongue was hanging out because he couldn't close his mouth. It was time for a visit to Ornishtepoort. At OP they did a CT scan and found that a little bone that keeps his jaw in place was missing, probably due to the trauma he experienced so young. When he had his baby teeth this didn't happen, but his adult canines placed pressure on the jaw and caused it to pop out. Fortunately, an easy fix, a tooth extraction, solved his problem, and here he is, eating like nothing ever happened after his tooth extraction. The CT scan also showed everything that's going on in that infected ear. Mango has one last hurdle in front of him. He has to have his entire ear canal removed in a two-hour operation at Ornerstepoort. Mango is a fighter. His foster mom says it's been a long journey with lots of ups and downs, but it's been such a privilege to love and to help him. So by now Mango has used about five of his nine lives. We have one large mountain left and then hopefully he can just relax and find his forever home. Every vet that has seen him is so amazed that he has survived all of this and is such a gentle loving cat. And here Mango is loving and helping Yoda. But that's another story.